Hi there, wig lover. This is Heather from SisterWigs.com, and today I'm bringing you another Henry Margu wig. This one is Harper, and the color is 131GR, which is a beautiful, rooted, crazy fire, cherry, awesome red. <laughs> it's just a beautiful color. Super intense. So let me go ahead and zoom in on this color real quick so I can show it to you. So as you can see here, it is still dynamic even though it's so bright and intense. And it's a dark auburn, so you can kind of see that in there, blended with an intense bright copper. And that's what makes it that 131. It's those two shades blended together. Beautiful color. And the root on this is a number four, which is really dramatic. It's a nice dark brown root, which just makes it all pop. It's just a really beautiful color. I am smitten. But you know me, I love my reds, and the more dramatic the reds are, the, you know, to a point, you know, fire engine red isn't really my thing so much, but this kind of thing is right up my alley. Um, I love colors like this. I just think they're really gorgeous, and I think that they work really well with my skin tone. Um, I just love it. And I love this Harper wig. Now, I know people aren't always 100% on board with the Henry Margu permatized wigs because that's what this is. This is a open capped permatized wig with a lace front. And so a lot of Henry Margu's permatized wigs have a lot of permatease, just a lot of permatease. I don't know why I'm whispering, but lots and lots and lots and lots of permatease. And you know, that's not really for everybody. But I think that on this wig, it's got just the right amount. It's like the perfect amount of permatease. Because, I mean, look look down here. Look at how much volume and body Harper has just by virtue of this dynamite, voluminous, sort of almost retro hair texture she has. So, you know, you want something to balance it out. You wouldn't want it to be completely flat up here and then really poofy down here. That would look weird. So you want a little bit of a body up here too, and I think that they've done a really brilliant job of incorporating that in here. It just, it looks really gorgeous. Now, let's talk about this curl pattern. Henry Margu has some of the most beautiful curl patterns on the market. They just they just do, you know? I thought Suzette had a lovely curl pattern, then Paulina came out, and Paulina's got, you know, a gorgeous curl pattern. It's basically the same curl pattern. You know, I think Kendall is, is gorgeous. It's got one of my favorite wave patterns, period. It, it's definitely one of the most natural looking boho wave patterns on the market. And I think this is one of the most relaxed, open, beautiful, just generous, huge curls out there. It's it's really beautiful. It's kind of like, you know, if you, okay, remember when I did the review of Radiant Beauty by Gabor, and you know how that one had sort of like a, a deconstructed curl pattern, um, and so you could see how it was kind of like a corkscrew, and then, you know, you could see that you know, but it wasn't quite like it was a corkscrew that somebody had kind of like relaxed a bit. This is like a big barrel curl that someone has done the same thing to. So I mean, it's it's very similar in concept. It's a big deconstructed curl that looks very relaxed, very on trend. It's it's just a really beautiful wig. I'm going to go ahead and turn around so you can see what this one looks like on all sides because it's it's really, really super duper pretty. The hair is just really luxe and it's like a cloud of, I don't even know, just cayenne goodness. <laughs> it's, I don't even know. I feel like, you know, a bombshell with, with hair like this and this color with this kind of volume. So let me go ahead and turn around so you can see for yourself.
she's got a great length to her. Um, the overall length is 18 inches, which is long, without being super de duper -de long. Um, the bang, if you could call it that, is about 6 inches, but it's meant to be swept off to the side. The ear tabs fall at about 13 and a half inches. The nape is 12 inches. Um, and the rest of the measurements you should really take with a grain of salt, to be perfectly honest, just because it's curled. So they're all going to be a little bit shorter than indicated. Uh, let me zoom in on this lace front so you can see it. I just pushed it up a little bit further on my forehead, as you probably just saw. That way you can see it a little bit more clearly. I normally don't wear them like pushed all the way up here, but my forehead is so pale that it makes a good contrast. Nice tiny knots, nice thick lace front. And you can see right here that's where it ends and that's where the permatease begins. But you can't, you can't see those wefts at all. Man, that's a pretty color. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take Harper off now so I can show you what the cap construction looks like from the inside. Oh, and this one is 4.7 ounces. So she's a little heavy, but that's because you're getting a ton of hair. So, you can see here that she's open on the top, she's got the lace front, she's got the felt ear tabs, so they're closed ear tabs, we've also got a felt extended nape, velcro adjusters in the back on both sides, which is delightful. It's very stretchy, very comfortable on, stretches in the back like whoa, that's really awesome. So yeah, no frills cap construction here. I'm gonna go ahead and reinvert the cap. Here is that texture in the back. Just a dynamite hair texture. And here I'll dip down a little bit. There you can see what kind of flyaway action you get from the permatease. Not too shabby. Not that bad at all. Gorgeous, gorgeous hair texture. Oh, I love this wig. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back on now. So yeah, I love some of Henry Margu's reds. They have really gorgeous, dramatic reds. Because that's, okay, I love the John Renault line, but one of my chief complaints about them is that they don't have any real dramatic reds. They've got that 130 slash 31, but they only offer it in like a handful of wigs. It comes in like Giselle and Aaliyah. <laughs> and that's only because they were like grandfathered in with that color. Um, but none of the new wigs ever come out in those vibrant, beautiful reds. And you don't have to worry about that from Henry Margu. Uh, Henry Marku releases their new wigs in these gorgeous reds all the time, and so <sighs> options! We love options. Uh, good reds are so hard to find, too, so when you find them, you're like, oh, yay, finally! <laughs> you can't stop petting it, you can't stop looking at yourself, it's like, yay, finally, my color! So, um, yeah, hopefully I have helped at least a couple of you find a red that you really, really like. And even if you don't like this red, just imagine this wig in a blonde. Oh, rooted blonde. I tell you, this in the uh, 26 GR. I actually have a wig in 26 GR. Give me a sec, I'll show you what that one looks like. <laughs> yeah, I got an autumn here in 26 GR. 26 GR is a dynamite rooted blonde. Look how pretty that is. Wouldn't this Harper look pretty in that color? It totally would. I know for a fact it also looks dynamite in the, um, uh, oh, what's the one I'm thinking of? I think it's the, uh, the 6H. The 6H is one that I've ordered many times. It's um, a very nice sort of medium brown that has really pretty subtle um, auburn highlights. It's a very, very beautiful color. It's, it, it from far away looks kind of like a chocolate brown. So it's, it's a gorgeous color. Um, that would look dynamite in this wig. So I mean, there are lots of possibilities and they would all look really pretty 
in this wig. So again, I'm Heather from SisterWigs.com bringing you this delicious Harper wig in the color 131 GR from Henry Margu. I highly recommend this one. It's really pretty. A lot of these Henry Margu wigs are kind of underrated in my opinion. Um, check out my wig store if you get a chance. It's just C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S.com, also known as Sister Wigs. And uh, have a great night. Until then, bye-bye.